welcome to MedTech and the first of a series of exclusive MedTech Engineer targeted webinars. My name is Robert Walters and I am a senior member of the customer care team here at MedTech. The reason we are here today is to review an exciting new interbase upgrade which promises to improve the performance and reliability of MedTech 32. I'll be presenting an end-to-end -end solution where I will provide an overview of Interbase XE7 along with the prerequisites to upgrade and what this involves. This will then be followed by a live demonstration of the MedTech32 database validation utility and the subsequent upgrade to Interbase XE7. To begin with, I would like to share with you the following key advantages in our upgrading to Interbase XE7. These are a more stable database architecture, significant performance improvements, faster resolutions to technical interbase issues. These advantages are the reason for why this upgrade is so important. To give you all some context around how the system achieves these improvements, I will draw your attention to the list of performance improvements made in Interbase XE7. The list outlines key functional aspects which have been enhanced. This has resulted in the overall performance benefits which we have witnessed during the testing phase of the release. During the Interbase XE7 testing, we targeted sites that had varied database sizes, deployment models, hardware, and concurrent users. This meant that we could validate the Interbase XE7 and determine the impact that this upgrade had on the practices MT32 application. The feedback we got was the MedTech32 application was more responsive, reporting could be processed a lot faster, the time to complete backup and restore was reduced. I would now like to draw your attention to the table outlining the reduction in time taken to complete a backup and restore after upgrading six practices from Interbase XE or 2009 to Interbase XE7. As you can see, the reduction in time taken to perform a backup and restore after upgrading to Interbase XE7 generally ranges between 60 to 80 percent. This is phenomenal and will likely improve all aspects of the maintenance, operation and deployment of both Interbase and MedTech32. I would like to also address the single outlier which has achieved only a 26% reduction. This value can be explained by the size difference in the MT32 database. As a general rule of thumb, the larger the MT32 database size, the larger the improvement in time taken to complete an Interbase backup and restore. Interbase's database structure has also been improved to prevent record duplication. This record duplication has been identified in some practices databases, which has affected the overall stability of the system. With this structure improvement, we are expecting to see no more instances of record duplication. The final challenge in our puzzle to fix these database related issues was to ensure that we don't bring the data related anomalies that have manifested in some practices databases into Interbase XE7. As a result, we developed a utility, the MedTech32 Database Validation Utility. This is used to identify and remove existing database anomalies such as record duplication. It has been designed in such a way that it becomes a core component of the upgrade process, which you will see during the demonstration. Let's now go over the prerequisites. In order to upgrade to Interbase XE7, the practice must be running version 22.0 or above. The current installed Interbase version should be Interbase 2009 or above. The system where the Interbase server installation will be run should be on one of the following. For the server platform, Windows Server 2008, 2008 R2, 2012, 2012 R2. For the desktop platform, Windows 7, 8 or 10. Confirm that the practice has software assurance, otherwise you will need to purchase this or the licensing for Interbase XE7. The licensing must be arranged during the MedTech office hours, which is between 8am to 5pm, Monday to Friday. In terms of third parties to be contacted, we have confirmed that if you have one of the following integrated solutions installed, keep it safe, text to remind, connect med, Doctor Info or Care Insight, then you will need to contact the vendor when planning for the upgrade in order to arrange for the required changes to be made to ensure that these services continue working after upgrading. Now I would like to present an overview of how this database validation and upgrade to Interbase XE7 will progress. With reference to this process flow diagram, we can see that there are two phases. The first is the database validation phase which covers the database validation and repair. The second is the installation phase, where we will be performing the upgrade to Interbase XE7. During the database validation component of the upgrade, the MedTech32 database validation utility will validate to see if there are any data anomalies, attempt to fix any issues found, 
If there are issues found that the validation utility can't fix, then you will contact MedTech to get these fixed. At the end of this process, whether you, the utility or MedTech fixes the resulting issues found, we can be confident that the database will be devoid of any data integrity issues. At this point, the system is now ready to be upgraded to Interbase XE7. So without further ado, we will now move to the demonstration of the Interbase XE7 upgrade process. For this demonstration, we are using a Windows 7 Professional 64-bit machine and we'll be upgrading from Interbase XE Update 4 to Interbase XE 7 Update 5. Before you proceed, you will need to ensure all briefcasing laptops with outstanding briefcase data have been checked in. You will need to then take a file level copy of the database. This will be done by stopping all MedTech and third party services, ensure all users have closed out of MedTech 32, ensure any other third party applications that connect into the database have been stopped, ensure all schedulers, backups and anything else that connects into the Interbase database have have been disabled. Validate that there are no connections remaining by going into IB console connecting to each database to be upgraded right-clicking and selecting connected users. If there are more than one instance of connection, then check to see where there are any other connections. Next, block port 3050 to prevent any external connections during the upgrade. Stop Interbase Guardian services. And finally, take a file level copy of the databases to be upgraded, which will be used in the event we need to roll back. Once the copy is complete, please don't forget to start the Interbase Guardian services. We will now start the demonstration by installing the MedTech32 database validation utility. On double clicking the installer, it will begin to start up. We're then presented with the welcome screen. Click next. Review the license agreement and then select the radio button to confirm that you accept the agreement. Then click next. Click the install button. Once the install completes, we're presented with the option to open the utility and or the release notes. Please ensure you read through the release notes on completion of the installation. For this demonstration, we will be only launching the MedTech32 database validation utility. Now click the finish button. On opening the utility, we are presented with two options. The first option, IB XE7 installation evaluation. This allows the user to perform a validation, repair and an interbase level backup of each database. This backup is for the purpose of estimating the time it will take to perform the interbase XE7 upgrade and will be used for the restore component of the upgrade. The second option, IB Database Validation, validates and repairs the database. This option is used to check and repair any database anomalies at any point of time after the system has been upgraded to Interbase XE7. For the database validation component of the upgrade, we'll be using two databases to demonstrate the utility's operation. The first, an MT32 database located in the Data Without Error folder. The MT32.IB for this example has record duplication that can be repaired. The second, an MT32 database located in the Data with Error folder. The MT32.IB database for this example has record duplication that can't be repaired. We will start the database with duplication that can be repaired. Click Add Database. Select the databases you are wanting to upgrade. We will next click Browse to select the location to place the interbase level backups in. This will be used later when we come to restore and upgrade the databases to interbase XE7. To begin the process, click the Start Validation button. You will be prompted with a message box. Ensure that you have adhered to the prerequisites outlined in this message. If not, cancel and then make the required changes. If so, press OK. We will now proceed by clicking OK. This will start the validation and repair process. While we wait for this to complete, I would like to draw your attention to the table at the bottom of the utility. This table provides information regarding some key database fundamentals such as the database location, size, and number of tables. It also provides the processing status. These are the number of tables processed, the percentage of the current task completed, the current table that the utility is working on, and the current status of the task. The time for this process to complete will vary depending on the size of the database, server's hardware specifications, and the number of data-related issues found and repaired by the utility. Please be patient while this operation completes. 
as you can see the validation part of the validation utility is now complete and now it's processing the backup. The process has completed and we are presented with a message outlining the time to validate each database, the time to backup each database, the estimated time for the restore which we can use to plan for the subsequent upgrade to Interbase XE7, the recommended next steps and finally a summary of the total times taken for each process as well as an estimated total downtime which results from the addition of the estimated total restore time and the estimated XE7 installation time. Press OK and close out of the MedTech32 database validation utility. I will now repeat these same steps for the database with duplication that can't be repaired in order to demonstrate the resulting message that will appear and the steps required in the event you get this message. Please bear with me while I start this process off. Please note the number of tables has been significantly reduced in order to speed up this process. This process is now completed and as expected the message screen that appeared indicates that the utility has detected an issue that it can't repair. Looking at the message we can see that the next step states to contact MedTech support via the support at medtechglobal.com email. What we require if you do get this message is an email attached with all the files located in the logs folder path stated. This subject should state IEXE7 database upgrade issue and in the body of the email ensure that you include the name of the practice who you were running this upgrade for and the contact details for who we should get in touch with to communicate the next steps in processing the upgrade. After we receive this email a case will be lodged and we will be in touch to discuss the next steps in repairing these data anomalies. Ensure you roll back to the database copy created earlier and discard any of the databases which were validated. Please note that due to the utility being unable to complete the repair of the data anomalies for this database has resulted in the backup not being processed. As the blob database has had no issues, a backup was created for this database. This concludes the validation step of the upgrade. We will now proceed to process the Interbase XE7 upgrade. Step 1. Stop IB Guardian. After IB Guardian has been stopped, please proceed to uninstall IBXE using the uninstaller found in the Embarcadero folder. Alternatively, this can be done from the Windows Programs and Features Software Removal window. Once presented with the uninstall window, select the custom radio button and then click next. Click select all and then click next. Repeat these steps until you are presented with the perform uninstall window. Now click finish. Next we're going to check that all IBXE components have been removed. This includes ensuring the Embarcadero folder has been removed. If not, please delete it. Ensuring the GDS32.dll file located in the SysWow64 folder for 64-bit machines or the System32 folder for 32-bit machines has been removed. If not, please delete it. Next we're going to run the Interbase XE7 installer. We are first presented with the installation window and we have the option to install either the server or license or both. For this installation we will be selecting both. Next we will need to enter in the activation key. As stated earlier please contact MedTech to get the activation key during business hours. This can be stored in the utility during the day and will be remembered for when you process the upgrade after hours. As you can see we already obtained the activation key from earlier so we can now proceed with the upgrade. Please press install. Once processed, press finish. Please note that the path to the Embarcadero root folder has changed from C drive Embarcadero to C drive program files Embarcadero. Next open IB console. You can access IB console from the newly created shortcut in the start menu or from the Embarcadero bin folder. Next connect to the server. Right click backup and then click restore. You will then be presented with the database restore window. Click the alias field, click file and then select the backup files created during the validation step of the upgrade. Select the save location. Ensure that the validation field is set to true. This does a check of the data integrity during the restore.
We recommend that you set the verbose output to to screen. This allows the user to see the current operation of the restore. Now press OK. Please be patient while this operation completes. The restore completed successfully. If you do get an error at the end of this process, then please save the resulting log file and email this to support at medtechglobal.com. We will now repeat this process for the blob file. Please be patient while we process this. After restoring all the practices databases, there are a number of post upgrade checks to be done. First, add the upgraded databases to IB Console. Verify that the databases are now showing the new on disk structure, which is ODS 16. Modify the mt32.ini file located in the mt32 bin folder to reflect the new instance name, which is medtech underscore ibxe7. Next, unblock TCP port 3050, then confirm that you can connect to MedTech32. Once you've successfully connected to MedTech32, you can now finally run the IB client installer on all workstations, terminal servers and Citrix servers, and also perform the Interbase XE7 installation on any briefcasing laptops. This now concludes the Interbase XE7 upgrade. If you do have any questions, please contact our friendly support team by emailing support at medtechglobal.com or by phoning 0800 2633 832 or by navigating to the MedTech website and using our chat system. Thank you for watching.